Okay, so let's keep going here. All right, so in our change CD, what we're going to do, we're going to add a text field and a button at the bottom there. Okay, so now inside our widgets children there, I'm going to add a new, so a new list view. Just want that flexibility. For our children inside, I'm going to go ahead and say new list tile. Yes, that's my new favorite widget. And in the title field, I'm gonna put another a say new text field. I'm feeling pretty festive here. I'm gonna say decoration. Uh, let's see, new input decoration. It's not necessary, but you know what? I like it. Say hint text. I'm just gonna go say enter. CD. In fact, this is actually necessary. And then here I'm going to go ahead and say controller. I'm going to call this CD field controller. We haven't created that. We'll create it in a second. And then I just want to say keyboard. I want it to be text input to be text. Okay, let's go ahead and create this big boy there say var so go to new text editing controller there we go all right let's go ahead and add a button while we here I'm gonna say new list tile title I'm gonna just say new flat button Right. I like to put it all in new lines like this. Uh, for the child here, say new text. This is gonna be the title. It's going to be get weather. Let's go give a few say color. Give it white 70, that's appropriate. Let's see, text color, I want this to be colors about white, 70. So that means this color here, let's make this red accent. Okay, with the button, it looks good. All right, so for our own press, there's a few things we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to then go back to the first screen. But as we go back, of course, we're going to be passing a few things. In this case, we're going to be passing whatever they entered in our CD field. For now, let's just save this and take a look and see how all of this is actually looking. If we go, there we go. There's CD. Looks really nice. We can add stuff and, of course, go from there. All right. That's, and then we have that get, which is not activated because it's too small because we don't have anything in our unpressed. But we shall do that right now. Okay, so unpressed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a method, an anonymous method there. I'm gonna say navigator because we want to go back. So I'm gonna say instead of push, it's gonna be pop. Okay, I'm gonna pass the context. And then the other thing we're going to pass, because we need to pass a dynamic results, result, so any type of object we can pass. In this case, it's going to be a map, right? And I'm going to give a key to say enter. And then the value is going to be the value we get from cdcontroller.text. So now, if we go back to our result where we're receiving, so this result here, we'll be receiving this be getting from our navigator here this map which is going to have text that we entered that was entered so we can receive it i'm going to go ahead and say if results is not null and results that contain key was enter, then we're good to go. Perfect, so now that means we have our results. So I'm gonna go ahead for now and say print, and say results, 
and I want the enter key, whatever is there, I'm going to just put it to string just in case and see if this works. Save this and give it a run. All right, let's click here. I'm going to say Beira. Get like that. Let's see. There we go, Beira. Just to prove to you that this is actually from here, I'm going to say from first screen. Could have worked as well, but say Porto again. There we go, from first screen, Porto. Very cool. So we know exactly that we know now that we're actually getting the information, which in this case is the CD. Okay, from our change CD page. That's very good. That's good news because that means then we can get that information and pass it on into our CD here so that then we can update everything and we can get the temperature or the weather of that city. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do um, just to so that we can start seeing things working, I'm going to create at the top right about here, I'm going to create a string and make this actually private. It's called it city entered. That's about it. And I'm going to use it to update one of our strings here that says Spokane. So this is going to be what will show here. And just pass it on here. Say city. Like that. All right. And then just to populate, so to add value, so to give value to our CD here, because that's what we're going to be getting, I'm going to go ahead and just comment all of this out. And I'm going to say CD and set it to results and get the value, which is under enter key. So where do we use this enter CD to? Well, we need to use it where we are going to update our CD data or our temperature. Okay, so where that happens? Well, it's here, update widget. So we already have this set up where we're passing the CD. Now here's what we're going to do. This is where we are invoking the get weather uh, function. We're passing in the app ID and the CD, whatever we're passing there. So what we're going to do here now is we are going to pass the CD as it is, but we want to make sure that if this is the first time that they are running this app, we're going to have our default CD, which in this case, you can come and change to your liking. I put a Spokane because this is where I live, right? But we want this to be automatic. So what are we going to do here? We're going to use the ternary operation operator here, which will say CD. If it's equal to null, meaning that whenever we come back, there is nothing from our CD, we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and use our util default CD. Else is just going to be CD, right? Meaning that if CD is null, we're going to use default CD. In this case, it's going to be Spokane. If it's not, it's just going to be CD because that means we receive something from our second page or CD page or screen, I should say. So everything is really set up because we set everything up before. We just didn't really know how to go and fetch that information from the second CD or move to that screen. Now that we know, it's easy. We just plug it all in and I think we should be good. So the other thing we need to do is just to make sure that we don't run into issues where we are actually updating our container. So here, instead of having Porto, we got to just go ahead and pass CD entered like this. Okay, because you will have stuff. And if it doesn't have stuff, it's going to go ahead and do all the logic to make sure that it's not if it's null, we pass default and so forth and all that stuff that we just talked about. Now, going back to our CD entered here. So again, because we know sometimes they there will be no CD if they go to this next page or CD screen and they don't enter anything and they come back and it's no, no, we have, need to account for that. Okay, just the same thing we did previously. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put an expression here, ternary, ternary expression. I can never really say it correctly. Ugh. English as a second language is tough. 
tough life. So I'm going to say it's equal to null. If that's true, I'm going to again do the same thing I did before. It says utils default. Else, right? I'm going to just go ahead and still pass the city entered. So this will make sure that each time, uh, if if we go here and come back and it's null, it's still going to go back to the default. Perfect. So now if we save this, I think we should be really good. Let's hope. Let's go there. I'm going to say, let's see, Moscow. Enter. Look, Moscow is 23.59 degrees. Is it true? Yes, sir. I'm sure it is true. Let's try, say, Moscow. It is indeed 23.59. Look at that. 2359. Now also make sure that the numbers may differ if you here have, for instance, a metric, but in your calls here you have met, uh, imperial, then the numbers are going to be different. Right? So that's one thing to be aware of. So this <laughs> has to be the same as the one that we have in our application. Otherwise, you're going to think, oh my god, the data I'm getting is all wrong. Something is not right. Well, if the units are different, you're obviously going to get different results. Okay, cool. So this is really awesome, right? So we are able to do all these things, we can go back and forth, back to Spokane, because I don't know a lot of places. <laughs> right, let's see what else. Um, Mumbai, if you are in Mumbai, hello from Mumbai, 80.6 Fahrenheit. Of course, this is not Celsius. I know probably in Mumbai, they use the metric system like everywhere else and anywhere else in the world. Um, and you may say, what, Mumbai, 80 degrees Celsius? That is really hot. No, it's not 80 degrees Celsius. It's actually 80 Fahrenheit, which is still hot, but you know, it's different. <laughs> All right, folks. All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for your time. And I will see you in the next video where we will continue putting together the user interface because everything else is working fine. So if we are able to get the temperature, that means we can also get other cool stuff here, right? We have a lot of other information. In this case, we're going to get the humidity, uh, temperature, min and max. All right, it's to finalize our application. Very nice. I'll see you in the next video.